Well, first of all, the relationship and the partnership between the FAO and the World Bank is a long-standing partnership. It's a very strong partnership. And by signing these agreements today, we are going to make it easier for the borrowing countries to actually leverage that partnership, to um, use the combined forces of the World Bank and the FAO, our strong footprint on the ground, to actually implement projects in a very quick and efficient way so that beneficiaries will get the results and the impact without any delay. Both World Bank and ourselves have been uh, working on the support to countries in achieving uh, their development goals, but now within the framework of the SDGs, uh, it puts, let's say, greater um, pressure on us to work better together and better support to countries. And the agreement will allow us to do exactly that. It opens up new opportunities, new ways of working together. It helps us combine what we do in a more, uh, in crisis situations that lead also to long-term development. And it allows us to collaborate in a more formalized way beyond what we have been doing in some cases on a more informal basis. We have very good collaboration through the investment center, through the cooperative program that's been going on now for 52 years. At the country level, we have a lot of interaction with our two teams working together. Uh, but now it, the, the new agreement puts that in a new framework. Uh, it opens up, of course, possibilities for more funding. But beyond the funding, I think the really interesting uh, important aspect is how it combines the elements in support of countries, their development, the increasing their investment, particularly in the agriculture sector, natural resource management, as we go forward in helping them meet their goals.